Okay, so if you've got a car battery, it's been acting up, or you just want to know the general charge and state of your battery, there's a number of ways you can go about that. You can use a, a battery load tester. You know, it basically, it's a, it clamps onto your battery, and uh, it you know has a heating coil through it, and it puts a load on the battery, and that's the traditional one. I've got one of those. I just don't happen to have it here right here today, but uh, they come up now with these digital ones, and this is one by Foxwell. And it's amazing what this little digital guy will do. It'll do just about as much as any of the others uh, in a digital form. And I'll show you how this works. Okay, I got a few batteries laying around here. Let's just see what this guy will do. Okay, so negative, positive. Oh, it's got something in it. Battery analyzer. So it's, it's reading 12.49 volts. That's pretty much a full charge. Okay. All right, battery test. Let's try that. Enter. In the vehicle. Out of the vehicle. Enter. It's a regular battery. Enter. Cold cranking amps. CCA. Uh, this one here, cold cranking amps right here, 650 cold cranking amps. So we're going to go enter. We're going to go six. What did I say? 650? Enter. And it says here, good battery, volts, 12.49 volts, measured, 673 cold cranking amps, rated at 650. That's a really good battery. Oh yeah, I got one down here. It's a marine battery. And I know it's not very good. So let's just see what it comes up as, if it reads anything at all. Oh, I think I saw it flash there for a second. Is there anything coming? I think I would give this dead as a doornail. Okay. That one doesn't even have a charge in it. Okay, so we can't fiddle with that one. I have another one over here. I gotta get rid of these batteries. Actually, what I'm looking to do here today is I wanna take a battery back for a core. I, I bought a battery and I need to take a core back. Uh, got a $20 core for the old one. All right, let's see what's in this one here. So this one here is sitting at 11.7. Battery test, enter, out of the vehicle, okay. Regular battery, cold cranking amps, 660. 660, cold cranking amps, press enter. Um, this is after charge, this is before charge, enter. And it says here, charge and then retest. So this has got potential if it was charged up. It says it's uh, reading 11 and a half volts. It measured eight, 87 cold cranking amps and it's rated at 660. So yeah, it's a dead battery. It needs to be charged and then you could test it again and, and it'll tell you everything right here. Okay, I got another battery here. And it's a Walmart battery. And... I don't think this one was holding a charge. So this has been sitting out for a bit. Let's hook this up here. And let's see what this comes up with. Now there's not a thing in that battery. Look at that. There's not even enough to, to run the meter. Yeah, that's dead as a doornail. And, and you know, this has probably still got a bit of warranty on it. I see here it's got a five year warranty. Three year free replacement. Now I'm gonna go find the receipt for this battery because it's probably been three years, but you know, if it's, I don't think it's been five. So, you know, maybe they'll give you $40 off a new battery. That could, should have been actually something I did before I bought this other one. But uh, yeah, that doesn't even have enough in it to, to kick over the wheels in this one. Okay, I'm gonna test the battery in the F-150. This battery's been pretty good and uh, so this vehicle hasn't started in a couple of days. So let's just see here. I'm gonna go on there. And it says, I don't know if you can see that there. There's a glare on the screen. It says it's reading 12.33 volts. That's pretty good. Battery test. Uh, in the vehicle, enter. It's a regular battery. Cool cranking amps. Uh, this one here is 650. 
So enter and put 650 and enter it. Good recharge. I guess it figures it needs to be recharged. Volts 12.31 measured 660 cold cranking amps rated at 650. Yeah, I'd say it's a good good battery. It figures it might want to be recharged a little bit because I think I've had the door open working on this vehicle and haven't ran the engine to recharge the battery, but uh, overall pretty good. Okay, let's move along now. The last one I'm going to test is the brand new battery I put in the Mazda 5. Okay, now I haven't done a thing with this battery. This came right from the store, just like this. I haven't started the vehicle. So let's take a look. So we're going to put the positive on here. And we're going to take the negative and put it down there. Okay, we got this thing. It says 12.48 volts. That's right up. That's a full charge. Let me just see here. Okay, battery test. Can you see that? Uh, in the vehicle. Regular battery. Cold cranking amps. Uh, 550. Enter that. Good battery. Volts 12.49. Measured 6.74 cold cranking amps and it's rated at 550. Yeah. Like I say, brand new battery. It's going to read like that. Okay. So... It's a great little tester. What else will it do? Does, will it do anything else while we're here? Let's just take a look. Okay, it's going to read that. Now. What else does it do? It sets off the alarm, obviously. <laughs> must be something to do with fiddling with the, with the battery voltage. You know, maybe that's... Uh, I don't know. Maybe that means someone's fiddling with the uh, ignition, perhaps. I don't know. Anyway, the alarm works. Hey, no need to test that. We've got that figured out. Okay, positive there. Let's not do that again. Okay, battery analyzer. There we go. It says 12.46. Okay, enter. Now, there's battery test. What else will it do? The version. Is that all it'll do? Battery test. Enter. In vehicle. Enter. So this tester will do three different types of batteries. It'll do the regular lead acid battery. It'll do an AGM, which is the glass mat, and that'll do the gel batteries. Yeah. Yeah. Great little tester, eh? All digital. You know, it puts a load on there somehow through the circuitry. It's obviously not heating up a coil like the old style, you know, to put a load on the battery, but it knows somehow. And uh, quite reliable, actually. I've used, I've had this for a couple of years, used it uh, quite a bit and never let me down so far. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description for this Foxwell 12 volt battery analyzer. Okay, what's it do? Features and benefits, multiple vehicles, passenger cars, light duty trucks, it tests 6 and 12 volt batteries from 100 to 1100 cold cranking amps. It tests multiple battery types, regular acid flooded batteries, the AGM flat plate, AGM spiral and gel. Uh, test the batteries on the car directly. No need to remove the car from the No need to remove your car from your battery. <laughs> no need to remove the battery from the car. It detects bad cells. Quick and accurate test result is displayed in just three seconds. Does not emit light, heat, or spark, or discharge the battery. Keeps operation safe for all levels of users. It has automatic temperature compensation, ripple voltage tests for easy and intuitive check of faults. Extremely easy to use with a large backlit LCD display and menu-driven operation. And it's multi-language. English, French, German, Italian, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, and Spanish. Yeah, so, I always like to keep stuff I buy in the original packaging. That way it keeps it all together, nice and neat, and protects it in the toolbox. But there it is, the Foxwell BT100 Pro battery analyzer. I highly recommend it. I'll put a link for it in the description. Anyway, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.